rise royals all right let's go in and let's see what's going on inside of your connection all right so you guys i'm in my car today <laughs> i'm out and about and running errands and dropping off orders and doing all kinds of stuff helping with my nephew nephew nephews <laughs> For those of you that don't know, I am a twin auntie. All right, let's go in, you guys. I've already meditated and cleansed my space. I don't know what messages are going to come out. So we'll see. We'll see. You ready? <clears throat> Spirit. What's going on inside of this connection? <laughs> I got a lot going on back there too as well, you guys. <laughs> what is going on in this connection spirit? Ooh, okay. Okay. So I do see that you were dealing with somebody that sabotaged this connection. Okay. Mm-hmm. But I also feel like even though this person sabotaged this connection with you, there's going to be something that's going to happen here that is going to allow you guys to rebuild, okay, this connection, okay? I feel like this person wants to continue to work on it. I'm here and continue to work on it. Okay. Give me some more information, Spirit. Thank you. I knew that was coming out. Okay, so we have the boat, right? I believe with this hammer and this boat together, you know what I'm saying? With rebuilding and working on it, that there is going to be um, a time where you're going to receive what you want from this connection. Okay. Uh huh. There will be progression. Okay, that's what Spirit is saying. Let's get one more card from this deck, and then I want to go into uh, messages from your person, okay? Very detailed messages from your Divine Masculine. Let's see. Okay, let's see. The Golden Mirror, right? Okay, so maybe you thought that this connection was one-sided, Okay, with this person, it felt very one sided. It didn't feel like uh, you were getting what you wanted from this connection. You know, maybe this person was very self centered, right? Maybe even coming off as a narcissist. Okay, not saying that you were dealing with one, but maybe it felt a little narcissistic, right? Like you're pretty self absorbed, you know. Okay, let's get some messages from your person. Spirit, give me some messages from the person, please. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry I kept you waiting for so long. Okay. So there's definitely been some time that has passed here between you two, right? Or maybe, you know what I'm saying? Like what this working on it is just like, they're working on something. They're working on themselves. They're working on bettering themselves, right? <clears throat> so that they can progress, right? So that they can start moving towards you, right? Um... Maybe this person has stayed away for so long because they knew they were self-absorbed, right? They knew they were um, kind of acting as if they were narcissistic, <clears throat> okay? And give me some more energy, spirit. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay, well, somebody's going to be happy to hear that. Okay, so so for some of you, 
you have a divine masculine that is very, very excited, you know, because they feel like they've worked on themselves for so long, right? That they're almost ready for you. They have been working. Do y'all see this? They have been working very, very hard on themselves, on bettering themselves, right? They're so excited, right? <clears throat> right? It was just like the more this person was away from you, the more they realize, you know what I'm saying? Like this is this is the type of person that I want in my life, right? This is the type of person that I cannot let go of, right? Because people like you, Divine Feminine, don't come every day. I'm trying to get this feather right. <laughs> right people like you don't come around every day you know and maybe this person did you know what I'm saying um, with this boat like move from person to person but every person that they encountered wasn't worth it you know they weren't worth it Right? This person can't take it anymore. <laughs> this person is so excited, right, about moving towards you and how much they've worked on themselves that they can't even take it anymore. They can't even, they can't even keep it inside their emotions, right? Right? Because before they felt like they failed you over and over and over again, right? They felt like they were a failure, right? They became depressed at one point in time right in this connection right so depressed that they had to start working on themselves you know spirit was just like you know the only way to get out of this depression is to better yourself you're gonna have to want more right right so i feel like this person started trying to figure out how this can work right Maybe they figured it out. <clears throat> Maybe they figured out how this can work. Okay, people have been asking about you, Divine Feminine. Okay, very close people to your person has been asking about you. Okay, specifically a sister. Okay, so if you have a your person has a sister, this sister has been asking about you. Okay. Where is so-and-so? You know, you haven't talked to so-and-so. Why haven't you talked to so-and-so? You know, when are you going to uh, make that move, right? You're just going to let something good get away? You know, this is the type of uh, sister this person has, right? Maybe it's an older sister, a very wise person I'm feeling, right? For some of you, this person had to make sure, you know, that they didn't still have um, emotions, you know, attached to another connection, right? And they left, right, this connection. Like, it was almost like they had to abandon this connection. But what they really did was they self-sabotaged themselves <laughs> out of a good connection, <clears throat> right? And they're saying that they're sorry. Ooh. Right? They're sorry that they left like that. They're asking you to please forgive them. Mm, mm, mm. Why did they leave, Spirit? What made this person... Mm -hmm. mm. Well, the thing is... When they did leave, you guys, you know, they felt extremely horrible about it, right? The gr regret started to set in, right? <clears throat> Immediately. There's so many sorries out here. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. Like, that's three I'm sorry's, right? So I feel like your person is just in this very regretful energy right but they're also excited right maybe they're they're in this regretful energy but they're also excited to see you they're also excited to progress 
right? They're also excited to <clears throat> move forward. They're saying they have something for you, right? For some of you, this could be a ring, right? A promise ring. For others of you, this could be something that you may have left, right? And you didn't know it and they still have it, right? And they want to give it back to you, okay? Right? So this is the type of connection that this person wants to last, right? I feel like this is this person's fear. Like they fear getting into a connection and being abandoned themselves, right? Right? So really, truly in their heart, they want this connection to last. Like they want this to last forever. They want to be with someone, right? This is someone that wants to be with someone. <clears throat> okay. Right. This isn't a person, this person that you're dealing, dealing with, they don't want to be single, right? They don't want to not have someone in their life, 11, 11 on the clock, life. They're saying that you are going to be the last. <laughs> You're going to be the last, baby. Okay, so be expecting some incoming messages, you guys. Mm -hmm. Right? Because, again, with this first card coming out, the hammer, this person really, really, really wants to work on this. Okay? They're saying you, you, you are the one that has their heart and you don't even know it. You have such a big piece of their heart, right? It's scary. So it's to the point to where it's scary. You have so much of their heart, right, in your hands that it scares this person, okay? And they want you to also know that you were not just anybody to them, right? I feel like when this person talked to people about you, right they talked very highly of you right they let these certain people know that you were something special you were something different right maybe it didn't feel that way to you you know what i'm saying when you guys went your separate ways but trust me you weren't just a thing to your person by far right This person, you guys, they, they want another chance with you so bad. You know, um, but they don't know if you're going to give that to them. Some of them don't, don't know if you're going to give them another chance, right? Mm-hmm. Because you're like, why did you leave? Why did you leave? I feel like for a lot of my divine feminines, you felt like the reason why your person left was not a good enough excuse. It's, that's exactly what it was, an excuse. Like, I feel like a lot of my divine feminines were just like, we could have, whatever it was, we could have worked through it <laughs> together. There was no reason why you had to end this beautiful connection to continue your life. We could have continued life together if you would have just let me in on certain things that were happening with you, right? I feel like this person didn't tell you everything, you know, that was going on with them. And then I hid what I felt for you. Oh, we already know that. <laughs> right? Suppressing their emotions, knowing good and God dog well, you are what they want. <laughs> right? You are teaching this person so much in life. That I don't even think this person knew that they could be taught by you. Right? I thought this person, I think, I feel like this person thought 
they were going to be the ones teaching you. But you very, very much surprised your person and you taught your person valuable, valuable lessons in this connection, you guys. Valuable connection, I mean, lessons. Right? They do want you to know that they're always here. Right? Their energy is always with you. Okay, they want to show up as the divine masculine, right? As the person that you need them to show up as, right? And they didn't want to lie to you. If this person lied to you, you guys, they feel like they lied to you for a very good reason, right? Either they lied to you to protect you or they lied to you. Because that's what they needed to do at the time. Right? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm hearing. That's what they needed to do at the time. They're saying they're going to build a castle. <laughs> they're saying y'all are going to build a castle. Right, so this definitely gives me um, like super, like that power couple, <laughs> right? That power couple that is going to get past all of the uh, the blocks, right, in this connection. And you're going to make it to something golden. Okay. I feel like this person is definitely planning for y'all's future as we speak. Okay. Right. And it's like, um, mm -hmm. You, Divine Feminine, you're just like, I don't know what else to do. You know what I'm saying? You're like, all of this mm -hmm, that you took me through. You may be a little confused, Divine Feminine, as to what you want. Okay, but this person is saying that they're extreme, extremely unhappy without you. Right? They're growing spiritually. I knew it. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. They can't get enough of you. Mm. They want to see you again. Like, I feel like this person, um, I don't know. This person comes off to me as someone that they will like beg and beg and beg and beg and beg until they get what they want. I'm not going to say that that's the best quality to have. <laughs> <clears throat> But this person won't stop until they get what they want, okay? Definitely getting like King of Pentacles energy, right? Like um, Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? If there's distance between y'all, this is really killing this person. They can't handle it, y'all. They cannot handle the distance between y'all. Right? I feel like um, when you guys were together, you were inseparable. You know, it was just like there wasn't a day that went by that you guys were not together. <clears throat> and so it's like... You know, if you're separated now and y'all have been separated for quite some time, this is killing this person. Okay? They can't they can't handle that. 
I can't make it up. What is that saying? I want this journey to go faster, but I know it can't. Right? But it's like they're almost ready, you guys. There's they're excited about this. Like I feel like this is taking somebody a long time to get to, right? You are my every wish. You're the sun, baby. <laughs> You're this person's every wish. This person don't want nothing else but you. Okay. Look at that. Didn't I say this person don't want nothing else but you? Whatever they're in, right? They don't want it. <laughs> this is not what I want. Whatever they're in currently, they don't want it. Right? There's also something that your person never got to tell you, you know, that your person is really excited to tell you. You know, maybe this has something to do with um, their life, what's going on in their life. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they got a new job promotion. Maybe they started a new business, you know. Um, maybe some of them got their stuff together. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, it's it's uh, something that they're very proud of, right? Their transformation, right? And they're just really hoping that it's not too late, honestly. You know, their soul burns for you. <laughs> you know, and some of them know that you don't trust them anymore. Right? Some of them know that they burnt every bridge, that you gave this person, right? That you built for this person. They burnt every single last one of them down. You know, and you're just like, I wouldn't give you another bridge if my life counted on it. <laughs> so they know that they have to build that trust back up within you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can always build another bridge. You know, but I feel like this time around, you're like, you're going to build your own bridge. So this time, if you decide to burn it down, it's going to be yours. You're the one that's going to be losing out, not me. Right? Damn. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they know that there's so much time that has went by in this connection that they have to start making up for, for lost times. You know, they have missed so much. Even if it's been three months that you've not been with this person, in those three months, your person has missed out on a lot of growth when it comes to this connection. You know what I'm saying? They missed out on a lot of trips. They missed out on a lot of holidays, a lot of birthdays, right? They missed out on, on all kinds of things, right? Growth within you. They missed transformation in you. Mm-hmm. And they also want you to know that it was nothing that you did, right? Like, whatever transpired here had to happen, right? It, it, it wasn't about you. It was about them. You know, all they know is that they want you in their arms. Okay. And they don't want you to hate them. Okay, for the decisions that they made. They don't want to fight anymore. If you guys have been arguing with this person or fighting with this person or it's just been like a mental fight, a mental battle, they don't want that anymore. Okay? And when they see you, they just want to enjoy you. All right. Let's grab one more card. I have a decision and it involves you. I feel like that decision is to move things forward with you, to progress this connection with you, right? To come into union with you. That's what I feel. Okay, you guys. So these were the messages that came out for you. If you resonated with any of this, be sure to hit that like button for your girls. It's the easiest way to support the channel. 
all right? And if you want to take it a little bit further, I would love you for it. You know, share the video, share the video that, you know, with someone that you feel may need this message, okay? Because I'm trying to reach a certain audience. I'm trying to reach my twin flames out here, okay? It's not a lot of people rocking with us. <laughs> take a special kind of person you know to rock with the twin flames but um i'm still here baby and i'm still doing it for, for for my royals okay i'm not going nowhere um i usually have my oh, i usually have my branklets with me so i could show you guys but if you're interested in seeing my branklets uh you can definitely go to riseroyals.com and uh you know check out the things that i have um, on my website. Uh, is there anything else? Yes. If you would like a personal reading with me, you want to go deeper into your personal twin flame separation, you can always email me. Okay. Uh, my information is in the description box as well as the bio. I love you guys so, so much. It's your favorite goddess, Goddess Platinum Anne.